Hey YouTube, uh, the Riesling here coming at you with an instructional video on how to make bocce for playing Japanese taiko drums. Um, you can buy these uh, bocce sticks uh, through Asano Taiko or other places. Uh, they run $20 to $25 and up. So I prefer to make them because I'm on a budget being a teacher. So, some things you're going to need. Tape measure, pencil, um, coping saw or some other sort of small saw, hand saw. You're going to need um, some eye protection. I use a handheld belt sander that's mounted in a vise. Uh, I'll show you that here in a bit. And uh, so let's get started. So we've got our dowel here on a very uh, messy desk workbench. Um, when you pick out a dowel, I get 36 inch dowels. These are maple. All the ones I'm making today are maple. And uh, I'll brush off some of the dust here. Um, all the dowels I'm using today are maple. I got them at Woodcraft. You can buy them at Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, but uh, I found that their lumber or their dowel rods aren't quite as nice. Uh, these all come with a sticker on one end, and pretty much anywhere you get them, they have that sticker. Uh, for me, I use 16 inch dowels, uh, 16 inch long. Um, you generally want to have the length from your elbow to the tip of your finger and that's right at 16 inches for me. Um, this is a 36 inch dowel so the last 4 inches I'm not going to use. Um, so I try and make sure those last 4 inches are the uh, side of the sticker so I don't have to uh, clean all the gunk off from the sticker. Uh, this is a 3 quarter inch uh, dowel. I'm going to use this for my shime playing um, and uh, then I use a 7 8 inch um, for my bigger drums and then for my Odaiko for my big drums I have a, a little bit bigger stick I'm going to make for that. So we're just going to start with this um, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark 16 inches from the end here and then I'm going to start cutting. I'm going to use a uh, coping saw here. Um, when you're, uh, I've used jigsaws and it always splits the ends, so I don't use those anymore. I did that on the first couple of sticks I made. Then I switched to this and got a much better result. Uh, you work a little harder, but you get a better result. So when we do this, um, and I'll zoom in here in a second, you're not just going to cut all the way through. You're going to turn it as you cut, and that will ensure that you don't have any um, jagged ends or, or that they'll be um, minimized, greatly minimized. Um, so let's get started with that. So here's my mark and what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this and just kind of lay my arm on it. Um, not going to push any real pressure, I'm just going to let the saw do the work. I'm going to get about halfway through or better, and then I'm just going to roll it. And then we'll probably roll it one more time here. pretty clean end there. You can see there if it'll focus. There it is. You can see I've got a slight uh, uh, bump there for where it just wasn't perfectly square but that's okay because when we sand that we're just going to sand that right down. So let's cut the other one and then we'll get to the sanding. you want to you can mark the second one with the first now by the way when you're picking out your dowels obviously you want them to be straight I just take them out I take several out at a time and roll them on the floor and make sure that they the whole stick rolls really smoothly 
if it's lopsided at all, then I, I don't get it. I, I choose uh, the straightest sticks I can get. And if you go to Woodcraft, uh, Woodworker Supply, or some other reputable woodworking supply, you're going to get a much better quality uh, cut, and you're going to get straighter dowels, in my experience. So, now let's go and sand the edges. We're going to take these edges, and we want to... Um, I'm going to start with a bevel at about a 45 degree all the way around and then I'm just going to smooth that off and I will put this right here you can see that um, that little lip there I'll take that off first and then we will bevel it or round it over so here's my uh, my uh, belt sander um, I've got it mounted in my vise here um, and it's got uh, a button here where I can hold down the uh, trigger and push that button in and it'll just let it go indefinitely. Um, I've got a 80 grit um, belt on here. I've done 36 grit too uh, as well but uh, I got 80 on here today. We're going to go with that um, and so let's get started. Um, always want to have these on. I just got something in my eye because I forgot to put them on. Safety first kids. So right there just that little bit took off that, uh, that lip. What I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on here and I'm going to turn it while it is uh, the sanders going and to get uh, an even edge all the way around. So I've got that kind of rounded off a little bit and I'm going to do some finish sanding on that. We we'll go ahead and do uh, both sides of both sticks and then we'll get to the hand sanding. Here's one more tool that I've started using. It is a PVC pipe that I took my Dremel and just cut it in half. And on the inside, I used some Loctite spray adhesive and put some 100 grit sandpaper in there. And that allows me to get a nice rounded edge on my sticks. And we just had a stick making session at our Tyco group. And you can see that that, along with a little finished hand sanding, really got a nice edge uh, or end on those sticks. So um, that's a little tool that you can make at home. Uh, and if you put a little hand sanding with it, really comes out with a nice edge or end to your sticks. And then when that sandpaper uh, wears out, I should be able to peel that off and put in another piece, if, even if I don't, the, uh, the I mean it's a piece of PVC, you can get it for like a dollar. So, um, Loctite spray adhesive and a piece of PVC, I think this is one and a quarter inch PVC, but it doesn't have to be that size, this is a little bit big, if you did like a one inch or, or whatever they have a small section of at the Lowe's or, or Home Depot or whatever, um, it, it turned out really, really well. So little tip there for you for getting those ends nice and round. By the way, I don't know if I uh, mentioned this. These are maple bocce. Uh, you can use oak. It's, it's much heavier. This is lighter. And like I said, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but these are maple. Um, I've used oak before. Uh, that's a heavier, harder wood. Uh, you can use cypress and uh, hickory. I haven't used those personally. Um, I, ju uh, I have used birch before. That that's worked well um, and held up pretty well. Um, those are the, the woods that I would recommend. Um, I'm using a lot of uh, maple right now because it's a little bit lighter um, and I teach uh, a lot of kids. So uh, that's good for them. Uh, it's not quite as heavy. It's a little easier for them to, to wield the stick. Um, you want to stay away from softwoods like pine. Um, it's going to uh, not hold up very well and it's also 
has a chance of uh, getting sap on your hands and your drum head and you definitely don't want that. So uh, maple, oak, cypress, birch, uh, hickory even, uh, all of those are, are good choices. Um, when you're making bocce, you can make them for about $6. So uh, that's a fairly inexpensive way of, of figuring out what kind of bocce you like. Um, if you want to buy some later on, it's a good way to, to figure out what kind of wood you like and then you can go get some more expensive ones if you if you want. For sides, you can also just take this and loosely kind of pinch it around there and go up and down the whole stick. Like I said, this is 100 grit, you can do 120 or 150. You don't really need to go any finer than that. Uh, but uh, and I don't as you can see I don't do very much that's pretty much all I'm gonna do on the length of the stick and that's it that's a bocce um, uh, it's just the length of my elbow it's a little bit short but most of these I'm making for my students uh, who are elementary school age so I don't want to go much shorter than that um, if I'm gonna make personal sticks for me I'd probably make them another inch or two lo uh, longer but that is your basic bocce construction. Hope this helped. Uh, have fun playing. Have a great day.